I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. Before leaving YouTube, Reaper EN was one of the greatest Rainbow Six YouTube analysis that the game has ever seen. With his insane knowledge about the game, to bridging the gap between competitive and casual, Reaper wanted nothing but to talk about Rainbow Six Siege and loved doing it. But unfortunately, he quit. This is the story of Reaper EN. Reaper created his channel on November 15th, 2012, but did not post his first video until 5 years later on December 23rd, 2017, which was titled Every Strong Mirror Spot on 9 Ranked Slash ESL Maps. In this video, he would show a tutorial on every good mirror spot on every ranked slash competitive map in the game. Even from the first video on his channel, you could tell he knew what he was talking about. Siege is a game where knowledge is key to winning and having someone give you that knowledge is extremely helpful. Especially an ex-head coach for a pro league team, Reaper started his competitive career as a player, playing on multiple tier 3 teams trying to make it to challenger league, which is the league before pro league kinda like the minor leagues. And he competed from 2017 to 2018. During this time he was also posting on YouTube for fun, with his pro league analysis videos doing the best on the channel. But why was this? Because no one else on YouTube was doing this. This was a perfect way for Reaper to show off how a competitive player thinks. How his videos were set up, they were perfect for new players to understand, and they could use the things he was saying and showing in the game for themselves. He had the experience to make the videos, and it was definitely his own kind of videos. Being original on YouTube is a huge key for success, and Reaper was definitely very good at being original. No one else would put the time in and watch all the games that he would watch and analyze them. In late 2018, Reaper would make his pro league debut as an analyst for Mocket Esports, which would then later be picked up by the Org Secret. This role he would excel in, later switching teams in the offseason to Rogue, and would become their head coach. Meanwhile, he was still posting on YouTube and eventually quit the pro league scene to focus on his YouTube and schooling. This this, I imagine, was a tough decision for Reaper, because he worked so hard to get to where he was, and finally was the head coach of a tier 1 team, just to leave it all behind and take a chance on his YouTube career, which ended up paying off. Reaper quickly became known in the community for his pro league analysis videos, with his first taste of virality with his video breaking down SSG's 100% win rate defense on church slash armory, which thoroughly explained SSG's defense and broke it down so it was digestible for all skill ratings. That is what Reaper did that no one else did as well, was explain things so even casuals could understand what he was saying. Also, he would bring attention to things that a lot of people either did not care enough to find or just would not put the time in to find. Like this video, new meta changing ways of keeping CC wall on clubhouse closed. Reaper is basically the guy you didn't know you need it until he's gone. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. Reaper has helped thousands of people get better at Siege, which is exactly why he was loved. At this point in time, Reaper was in full swing of producing videos and was a full-time YouTuber. There are a couple things which led Reaper to quit YouTube, and it's a harsh reality that a lot of YouTubers face. If you grow with a game, you die with it too. Reaper, late into making videos, started to force himself to make videos. Most YouTubers, even though they don't like to admit it, always are looking at analytics. If you grow with the popularity of a game and the game dies, so does your channel. Even though Siege as a game hasn't necessarily died, it's definitely had its rough patches in the past. Even though Reaper was still technically growing, it wasn't like the growth he experienced at the start of his YouTube journey. Siege was becoming stale, especially with new content releasing every three months. It was hard to be creative and come up with good video ideas. A lot of Siege YouTubers were experiencing a loss in views, and this was the final straw for Reaper, releasing his last ever YouTube video. In it, he would talk about the struggles he's had and how he lost the passion for making content. Alright, you guys know me, I'm gonna keep this short. From this point on, I won't be uploading videos on YouTube anymore. As for why, well, 
basically, I just haven't really enjoyed my work for the past six months. I had to force myself to make videos. And looking at the views, likes and subs that I got, you guys didn't really seem to enjoy them either. It's honestly quite sad because he was bringing something fresh and new to the community and something that is hard to replicate. Also, in the video, he talked about how he would be streaming from time to time but still looking at his Twitch. He has not streamed in two years. The only thing that he is somewhat active on is Twitter and had this to say about his streaming. If you remember what I talked about in my last YouTube video, then you know that this was pretty much inevitable. For a while now, I felt that my streams didn't really offer much insight anymore. But more importantly, I just haven't really enjoyed watching Rainbow for the past few months. It's not like I hate streaming or Rainbow, but it has always been important to me that the content I make is at the highest possible level, and currently I can't guarantee that, so I would rather not stream. That being said, I thoroughly enjoyed my time in the rainbow community and even though I never quite accomplished my goals I'm still proud of what I did for the past few years thank you to all my former teammates and everyone who supported me Reaper en has left a mark on this community that will never be forgotten and if you ever want to come back you are always welcome